Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. I have a Microman Aliens vs Predator. This is Alien Queen vs Predator. Now, uh, Microman are 118 scale, but this is from their micro action series. So, if you see this tiny Predator here, if he's meant to be 118 scale, you imagine how big this alien would be. So obviously this is not 118 scale, this is going to be very small, in fact smaller than the normal alien in 118 scale on the Queen. But it's a cool looking set, I wanted to pick it up and I can use the Queen with my other 118 scale alien stuff, Predator stuff as well, though he is tiny. He is, I would say about an inch, maybe an inch and a half and there's a couple of alien eggs there as well. This is a cool looking set. I will compare it with some uh, 118 scale stuff so you can have a look at in a moment. In fact, let me just grab something else that's close to hand and we can compare that later. Okay, um, so on the back, it's in Japanese. It does say deep below the Antarctic surface, an unwilling team of explorers become sacrificial bait caught in a battle between the predators and the aliens. Whoever wins, we lose. And then it shows you some of their other 118 scale stuff there. Really nice, great articulation. But bear in mind with the Microman, they will be small. Because Predators are like, what, 7 foot tall or whatever, 8 foot tall. They'll be quite small when compared to your other 118 scale stuff. I managed to pick this up quite cheap here in uh, China. And I've got a couple more bits in my... Uh, Shopping basket, wait until I get paid a long time from now before I buy. Okay, let's slice this tape and have a look. I have reviewed a couple of Microman sets before and the articulation is insane. I'll stick one, like an Android one and the blank one. I'll stick the Android one in, in these suggested videos if you want to have a look. But they don't make Microman any more far as I know, which is a shame. Uh, they do have issues with the plastic breaking over time, it can be uh, quite brittle, especially if exposed to too much sunlight. Is that off? That should be off. Micromass is 1974, it's a little sort of plastic badge you can see and that's pretty cool so I'll be keeping this this is why they want to sort of rip it open okay let's have a look so let's have a look at a little predator first he is tiny look at that smaller than my thumb it's a bit sticky from when the sellotape's been on him It does look pretty cool, so uh, does he have articulation? I think his arms... No, zero articulation, but that's to be expected because he's can't even see him by standing up there. He is so tiny. Uh, he doesn't want to stand up. I'll leave him against my finger for you. He is really, really small, but he does look good. You can make him stand up, just a bit of um, sellotape on his feet, or a bit of, you know, blue tack. His feet are a bit sticky, there you go. Oop. If I push him down, he'll stand up because his feet are sticky for a little while before he sort of straightens himself up and falls over. Very, very nice. He does look good. The detail is pretty cool, and he's got um, sort of red, silver, black colour on him so you do get quite a lot of detail on it. it's got a shoulder cannon you can see the uh, sort of spike coming or almost like a wolverine glove coming out of his right hand so the camera will just about pick some of that you can see the little glove there pick some of that up very very nice we put him back in there for safe keating keating keeping uh, we have two tiny alien eggs uh, one is closed do not leave that in the kitchen. Someone think it's a think it's pepper and try and grind it into your food for you. Just put that back. And the other is open. Now I have reviewed recently the higher 118 scale alien egg set, and I'll stick that just the videos, and that is really, really good. 
and this is a good look. You know, it looks the same, just that's a lot smaller. And now we come to the uh, the main reason, the Alien Queen. It's got a hand dropped off there. Dropped off or broke off? Let me have a look. Oh, I see. Dropped off there. Cool. That is fiddly. And I cannot see how that. Okay, that looks like it's glued in place. I might have to glue that in place. Okay, so let's just put this to the side, not lose anything. So let's look at aesthetics. She does look really good, and there are. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. She does look really good. You can take off the uh, the crown piece here, the little lever. If I push that forwards, you see the mouth part, the inner mouth comes out. That is such a cool effect. Really good job by a microman here. Um, there is a hinge on her jaws, the outer jaws, but it's soft plastic, so it's not easy to move. She looks good. She is obviously going to be small, very, very small, for, particularly for 118. Um, I think posing her might be might be quite difficult. I'm getting quite upright though. I will compare her to some normal 118 scale figures in a minute. Interestingly, it appears that one leg is longer than the other. Her right leg is longer than her left. You can probably pick that up on the camera as well. See, this one is slightly longer. She has got so much articulation like this. Have a look at that. So we know that this comes off and we can put the head out. The head comes up and down. There's a, there is a joint on the jaw, but soft plastic makes it hard to move. There's a head joint here. Um, she can turn a little bit too. There is a twist, dip, side to side on the body. Uh, the big arms, the shoulders come up over well over 90 degrees. And they are on a ball inside as well. So he's got double articulation, but this is an old toy. Don't want to break it. Uh, gets, can't get her arm quite straight, but the bicep bend, look at that. That's like tighter than me. Really tight bicep bend. Hand is on a ball, ball joint. No, hand has got a joint like this. But again, the hand is soft plastic or soft rubbery plastic. So it's quite actually hard to pose nicely. Both hands are the same on that. And they do turn around as well. Uh, on the little arms, they do appear to be fixed in place. So this hand here, I will have to glue in some time. But here's the thing, there is, it looks like a joint. Okay, there is. There's a joint on the hand I can see there, which means that this one I will have to glue because it's broken. One of the Microman issues, this one is slightly broken. Maybe that's why it's cheap. I paid like, what, 14 pounds, UK pounds for this, including delivery. So I'll be gluing that on. Um, legs, they won't go out so far because of the sculpt on the hips. Yeah, not far at all. They're stiff. Forwards and backwards will be amazing. Proper full splits, but the tail will be in the way. Uh, tail is soft. There's no articulation that I can see. There is a single kneecap followed by a lower limb, a lower, almost like a kneecap again, but it's not. So it's almost like a double kneecap, so I can get quite far up. You see there's a little hill piece here, like a spur or claw, but that's a bit loose. It's not really going to help us stand too much. Um, and then the, anything on the, okay. The foot, don't want to break this, has a swivel. There we go. 
like this as well. But there's no turn left and right. It, she does have a hole in her foot if you have a stand. Okay, let's see how well I can make her stand up. Let's get her a bit more upright first. Oh, and her head comes off too. Right, let's put her together. She is. She looks amazing. Really good job on the aesthetic this on this one. I'll just show this again. See the little white lever here. I push. Out comes the mouth, and I can push back in, and the mouth comes back. Is there any give in this plastic? There's a little bit of give. I'll be tempted to heat it up first, though, but let me see. Well, it's in but not properly at the moment. In fact, I will be heating it up a bit later to stick in properly because that's probably going to snap if I don't. And I do not want to be snapping these. Okay, let's get her standing up at a full height. And then we'll get a size comparison with some other figures to see if she'll stand up. Look at that. Okay, now bear in mind she's supposed to be absolutely massive. If I compare her to... I use a 124 scale. This is the um, the what's it called? Industrial puppet robot thing I reviewed of them, which is really cool. He's 124 scale. He looks like an alien's power loader anyway, and you can see that she scales really well. So if you've got Joy Toy 124, this will be a really good match. If I use an Android from some Disney TV show I've heard of called Fireball, but she's really good. I've got about four of these different types with great articulation. She's 118. You can see that now the scale's looking not quite so good. If you're after, and again, I'll stick her to just the videos. Um, if you're after some really good Androids that are really quite difficult to find, try and find these. Um, good articulation, but the plastic is a bit brittle. If, let me use a, joy, a proper joy toy. Joy toy. Here we go. I'll stick him into just the videos for you. Now this is proper 118 skill. You know, for just like an alien, it's okay. But for a queen, it's way too small. I keep meaning to pick up the um, the Lanard sort of alien queen sex. That's like huge. I'll do that sometime in the distant future, since I'm in China and you can't really get in here easily. But you can see here that his scales pretty good. Just that for an alien, it's short. For a queen, it's tiny. And then, let me see. One more, maybe. No, that'll be it for now. That's all you need now to get an idea of her skill. So, conclusion, she looks amazing. It's too small for 118, obviously, because she's not made to be 118 skill. But she looks amazing. Good articulation, but the same Microman issue of brittle plastic. See, this one's broken. I even, didn't even move. It was broken in the box. So, I mean, I could add that joint in by pinning it, but that's my tools are in Malaysia. I have to get a really fine drill, which I have in Malaysia, to drill that, cut like a bit, little bit of wire or paper clip to make the joints that can hinge. But I don't know if I'll be doing that yet, but I'll be putting her back in the box for safekeeping. But she looks amazing. Well worth picking up. And you get the tiny little Predator too. Great set, great job by Marker Man. I wish Marker Man were more readily available. They've got some Street Fighter stuff, but it's so expensive. But their crazy articulation would be really good. Okay, let's get a head, let's see if I can get a head down slightly. Stand up. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back to the more awesome actual videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, okay? Bye-bye.